Hi, this is Tim from Imagitronics.org and today we're going to take a look at my modification to this RC Moon phase light and uh, see how easy it is for you to start modifying your own toys and gadgets. Let's take a look. This is the RC Moon phase light sold by ThinkGeek.com and produced by Uncle Milton. Um, basically it's a night light that has a light dependent resistor to determine whether or not uh, the room is dark enough to allow for the light to activate. It also comes with a little remote control unit that is an infrared remote control like your TV remote that allows you to cycle through the phases of the moon. When I saw this toy I thought wouldn't it be interesting if we would be able to have the moon sync up with the actual phases of the lunar the lunar phase. So um, I went about taking this apart to see what made it go on here. Uh, as you can see, there's basically just some screws around the outside here. Um, there's nothing holding it together. I've already removed the screws. As you can see, take the screws out, go like this. Um, and there's more screws on the inside panel here. You can see these little carved wedges allow the LEDs to only shine through in a certain area. So, on the inside, we originally had this little controller board here and it had the infrared receiver that would pick up the remote and send out the signal so what I wanted to do was replace that with my own controller so I opted to use the Arduino microcontroller um, I chose the Arduino primarily because it, it's a real easy environment to get going in it uses a standard C language to program and the Arduino is open source and it comes in all types of, of sizes and shapes uh, you, you can get the standard Arduino board, uh, they have the bare bones Arduino board, they have the Boarduino by Adafruit Industries, um, there's even small micro Arduinos and mini Arduinos. So we decided to go, I decided to go with that based solely out of simplicity, ease of use, rapid prototyping. So what I did is I simply, uh, I removed the resistors that would limit the current to the LEDs. I took the ones right out of the original project and I simply uh, put them on my own little perf board here and attached them each to a pin on the Arduino. I also used this little real-time clock module here available from SparkFun Electronics. This little clock, clock module has a coin cell battery backup and allows us to communicate with the Arduino using a standard two-wire I2C interface. So we can set the time on this clock, we can retrieve the time on this clock, we can do whatever we need to. So this clock will allow us to keep the time and date even if we lose power. Other than that, I simply added one potentiometer or variable resistor right here on the back and all that does is that just allows us to change the sensitivity to light. I have that connected directly to the light dependent resistor here on the top. So it's a pretty simple setup overall. I have instructions on my website on how to try this yourself along with source code examples. Uh, as you can see the only modification I made to the physical clock here was to cut out a hole big enough for the Arduino. They do make Arduino small enough that you wouldn't need to cut this hole but I really like the idea of having the USB port on the bottom for doing updates over the PC. So I also wrote a little C-sharp application that can push the date to this clock in the event that it should ever get uh, lose its time. Okay, let's take a quick look at how our modified moon actually works. Um, here we're at stardate.org. We're using their lunar calendar. And we're using our very simple lunar update application, which is written in C-sharp. And essentially all it does is sends the current system time and date to the Arduino via serial. The Arduino, in turn, updates the real-time clock module. So all we need to do to change the setting is to change our system date. So let's say we want to see a nice third quarter moon. We have a third quarter moon on June 15th. So we set our system time to June 15th. And then we simply update. Now there's a small update delay that's built into the, to the lunar update application because some models of Arduino require a few seconds to reboot. Uh, some models of Arduino do not require that. So it says we're done updating the clock, 
So if we remove it from its light source, you'll see we have a nice third quarter moon. So let's try another one. Let's go ahead and take a look at a nice full moon. Let's set our date to June 9th. We set the system date to June 9th. Oh, you know what? Let's give it a nice ending of the moon down here. We'll put it on uh, the 26th, where we should only see a sliver on the right side of the moon. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and update it. As I said, we have this artificial delay built into the code just because some Arduinos require it. And then once it's done updating the clock, if we remove it from its light source, you can see we have a very nice sliver of the moon that's lit over here. And that's pretty much how it works. And that's really all there is to it. I hope you'll take the time to look at the code and see if you can come up with your own great ideas for modding toys.